Hey guys, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. I just got my two-year-old down for his nap for the day and it is pouring outside. I don't know if you guys are aware of what's happening in California, but we're getting a storm. Not really a big deal, but you know, we don't get rain very often. So in some sense, it is a big deal, but we've been cooped up inside all morning. I keep bringing out different toys for the kids to play with. And it's going to be time for us to do homework with Aubrey. But before I did that, I've just been trying to get like things done around the house. I recently got sourdough starter from my neighbor's daughter and I've been feeding it and taking care of it. And today is the first day that I'm trying to make a loaf of bread using it. So I'm kind of like, you know, keeping track of all of those little steps. And if I master sourdough, I will definitely share what I do at least in a future video and I'll show you guys you know some of my progress today but I'm like like I said I'm trying to get some just things done around the house while the kids play trying to find missing pieces of toys and put things away and try to keep this tidy even though we are cooped up in the house but one of the things that I'm was about to do because I found one of these bags and I wanted to store some of the toys we have in it I have this like bag from the dentist and, you know, it seems like every time we go, we get these bags with the toothbrush and the toothpaste in it, but it has like their logo on it. And I don't really want like the aesthetic of that in a toy organization bin or whatever. Just, I don't like it. So I'm actually going to try to take it off with some nail polish remover and thought I would share that little hack with you guys. So I have, you know, my nail polish remover in here. It's not much left, but there's like a good amount of acetone, I think, in it. And then uh, this container's from Dollar Tree, of course. It's kind of cool because you just push down and you get it on there. And then you rub and it starts coming off. I have had one case where like, cause you know, I said I get a lot of these. I've had one where it like was smudging and it didn't come off easy, but luckily this one is coming off easy. Okay, so now we are all done. There is a little bit of like a discoloration there, but not a big deal because we're gonna be filling this up with toys and you won't even really be able to tell. So sorry about the lighting again. It's rainy, it's dark. I don't want all the lights on, uh, but I'm gonna be storing the little pieces of this toy that my sister-in-law got Jack for his birthday. It is the cutest toy ever. So it's this like little espresso machine and it has little cups and let me let me just show you how this works. Okay, you've got your cups and little like saucers. You have your little flavors. So you got mocha, espresso, latte, and cappuccino. And then we got some spoons, some little milk. This thing was a little difficult to push in, but it is loose enough where you could take it out again, but sturdy enough where it kind of stays in there. There's a little bit of storage in the back. This thing clicks, so that's always fun for the kids. And then you just take your little flavor and you put it in this top notch. So let me show you. So we go drop it in there. It's sitting on top until we turn this so it's facing forward. It falls in. And then let's put our little cup here. We continue to turn it and it drops in there. And Jack loves like pouring this and pretending to slurp it. So these are the pieces that I'm gonna put in that bag. Now I could just go ahead and store it in its box, but that would mean that I have to take this piece off and I really don't want to. I'd rather just have this piece and then a bag of all the little pieces together in our toy chest. And I have about three minutes until I have to do stretch and folds for our sourdough. I really hope that this is a fun journey, a healthy journey. I am, just to give you guys a fair warning, I am considering taking another little break from YouTube, maybe a month, because I just, I'm not losing weight like as quickly as I'd like. And Jack was sick a little while ago. So I was like tending to him. I was exhausted. I was not exercising. And then any extra time that I had would be towards like editing or filming videos. And so it's like, I, I feel like right now, at least, I'm too booked. And once I get 
my life in order and like get back to feeling like I'm fully on top of things, then, you know, I'll be able to both work out, be healthy and do YouTube videos. So that is kind of why I'm like, I see another little break coming. And actually it was around maybe a little bit after, it was like almost a year ago, almost, where I did take a break from YouTube, but I got back on uh, because I got pregnant and I was so excited and I wanted to share that journey with you guys. And then I had my miscarriage and um, I don't know, it, it's, you know, I've, I've kept up with YouTube, but I don't know if, if I would have gotten back on so quick if I hadn't gotten pregnant. Like, I guess I didn't want to, like when I was fully ready to come back, to come back and be like five months pregnant and be like, by the way, <laughs> I don't know, maybe I just, maybe once a year, I just need like a month off. So I'm on 11 months off, 11, off one month, not 11. Uh, sorry, I'm rambling, but I just, it's been on my mind. And I think that it is something that I need to do, but not yet because we still have some things to do. Uh, so let's go ahead and put these toys. I'm gonna put these in the little toy chest that we have and let's do some stretch and folds. We got our toys packed up and I cut this out of the box just so that it is a little bit more obvious what set it goes to. And we're just gonna plop it in right there. This may look messy, but is actually probably the most organized that his, it has been in a while. Okay, this has been resting for like 45 minutes, I think. I need my hands a little wet for this stage. And I'm gonna reach in here, pull the side up and fold it over and do it with each quarter turn so that I hit every side once. And this is the last one until the next time. All right, I feel like anything that sticks to my fingers is wasted, but oh well. So now we're gonna cover this up and repeat this process in like 45 minutes. It is rainy but I have found that on my stove top, under the light of my microwave, my dough and my starter even was like rising really quick. So that is where this will go. While we're right here, I figured I'd share. I didn't really find like a perfect place for this thing, but I just kind of figured propping it up there will give my oven a cute little Valentine's Day look. And then over here in this dark corner, I just added that. So now that the sourdough starter has been taken care of and I put those toys away, I am going to try to tackle the mess that is my living space while Aubrey is playing nicely in her room. She's playing with her little birdie collection. Maybe I'll give you guys a little, you know, looky-loo at that. Uh, she just is in love with birds right now. So she's playing nicely and then hopefully we'll get some homework done today. She did work ahead, so we don't have too much to do. But let's go ahead and just kind of tidy up around here. Crowded places, feel it sinking in. Lonely faces, say you need a friend. No matter the distance, I will always be there. No more inhibition, I'll show you. Okay, so Aubrey is looking through her homework pages to see if there's any birds to put smiley faces on. We're gonna be sitting down soon. I haven't gotten to cleaning over there, but it's mainly just a couple blankets. Do you wanna tell them something? Mm -hmm. I love boys. <laughs> yes. Okay, so then uh, let's see. I cleaned off our island, which wasn't in really in the camera shot, but 
Everything else is fairly tidy. I kind of let some dishes air dry instead of trying to dry all the crevices, so that's why they are still out. And then I thought while Aubrey's doing homework, I can make her a little Home Depot canvas, and then we can start putting these little pins. So like the first Saturday of every month, if you go, you can get like a cute little thing that they can build on their own and it comes with little pins so we can start like collecting all of the ones and just kind of punching it through, putting the little backer on the other side of the canvas and keep track of her work that way. But before I do any of that, I'll probably have to do another stretch and fold because it is getting close to 1.30. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do that now. So here is my little painting. The words were more difficult than I thought. <laughs> well, no, I, I knew it was going to be difficult, but they didn't really turn out too great. But, uh, you know, from a distance, you get the point. And then Aubrey really wanted to paint. So I told her she could paint an A. And then Aubrey, why don't you tell us what you painted in the little middle part of the A? It was a, it was a toucan. A toucan. Okay. So like the the... The horizontal part of the A is like a little perch for your birdie. You can kind of see the, the beak and the, the little body. There. <laughs> it's sticking out with the A. It's so small, you kind of have to use your imagination, but we can get the picture, right? Okay. So Aubrey's working ahead. She's done like so many extra One, pages. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. So like I said, she's working ahead. We are ahead of schedule for school, which is awesome. Homeschooling at the kindergarten level really isn't that bad. I was a little intimidated, but honestly, if we just stuck to what I had planned, we would be done in like 15, 20 minutes, depending on her temperament and like all of that stuff. So it's going well. She's working ahead. She may, um, we're, we're doing phonics, so like we're learning some letters and the sounds they make. I have a friend who has a kid who's like six months older than Aubrey and like already reading. And so it's a struggle for me not to compare, but I'm also thinking like the progress that we've just made in just the last couple of months has been, you know, big leaps. And so in six months, when she is my friend's son's age, she could very well be, you know, right on, on track with him and he's even advanced. So I'm trying not to compare. And even when I do start to compare, I'm like, they're not, they're not born on the same day, you know, all of that stuff. And so I'm trying to not compare. That's the, the straight A student in me, the perfectionist, the wants the A plus, you know, want to be the best. I need to keep that from her. So anyways, I'm going to let this painting dry and then we'll pin on our little pin. Aubrey's going to wrap up and probably earn a little show with the treat tickets that she's earned during her homework little period. And I'm going to get a product out that we were sent. Um, it's a like pantry organizer and I'm probably capable of setting it up totally myself, but I do want Juan to like help me with the installation later on. We may or may not get to it in this video, but I do want to show you guys the product. So let me go ahead and grab that, put that out on our island since my island is finally clean and, you know, get that all ready. Okay, quick change of plans. My timer went off, so I have to do stretch and folds again. And I heard Bubby start to wake up. So I'll still try to get this product out here because he won't be really be able to touch it. And then 
I'm proud of myself for making it this far through a rainy day and not utilizing the TV, but we might throw on like How to Train Your Dragon, which is one of their favorites or Super Mario or the Cars movie and enjoy that. Like they can rest, not make a mess around the house, which I've cleaned up and you know, then we'll do some more activities, kinetic sand or something like that. So let me do another round of stretch and folds and get this product out here before getting Bubby because he's, you know, quiet and probably playing nicely in his room. I'd like to thank Mayfort for sponsoring this portion of today's video and sending us this over the door pantry organizer. This organizer can be hung over the door using the provided hooks, but also can be mounted on the wall in one full piece or split up amongst the four different bars that are provided. There are nine adjustable deep baskets that are made of heavy duty metal that can store a variety of items. There are two large baskets, three medium and four small. In addition to the door hook, the metal rods and the baskets, you also get the hardware provided to not only assemble it for over the door storage, but if you also want to mount it on your wall, they provide you with the necessary hardware for that. And if that wasn't enough, they also provide you with four adhesive strips that go on the horizontal bars of this framing so that the organizer sticks to the door and ensures that the rack like stays stable and doesn't wobble. You also get six additional hooks where you can like put that on wherever you want to hang other items from this organizer. And you also get six pieces of double-sided tape for additional stability. You guys will see a little later that I was able to assemble this entire thing by myself. So if you are anything like me and a little apprehensive about, you know, assembling furniture, this is pretty doable. So have some confidence. I think you guys can handle it. So at a quick glance, after taking everything out, I'm very impressed. It feels like a nice, like sturdy product. Uh, I like the, the feel of the metal and it just, I don't know, it looks really nice. So we have a couple options here. We can hang it on a door. We have the little hooks that go over the door. And then it also comes with little adhesive stickers so that it doesn't like, you know, fling around on the door. It actually stays like nice and sturdy. So we have the hooks for support, the stickers so that it stays in place. But what I'm thinking we'll probably do is install it into the wall. So I like that it gives you those two options. You know, obviously it is, it's called a pantry organizer. So I, I'm kind of happy with how my pantry is working right now. I don't know if I'd want something on the door, but like I said, I'm kind of happy with how my pantry is organized, but what I'm not happy with is how my laundry room is organized. So let's go in there. So I'll have this at a wide angle so you can kind of see everything. Right now we have like our vacuum storage, this is a tarp that I've been meaning to do a DIY with. So, well, that'll be in a future video. But then I have like this stuff I haven't found a place for yet. We have things stored like in between. We have bags. I keep my extra soap and like speeded or scent beads like down there. And it's just, it's not pretty. I mean, it's probably your typical laundry room, but I'm just not happy with it. I am happy with like, for the most part, how I've organized my cupboards, like it stayed fairly clean, but I do feel like we could utilize a lot of that space a lot better because I'm getting into sourdough. Those mason jars are, you know, I'm using them a little bit more frequently. And we have some party supplies up here that I don't use too often, but we're not using that vertical space. This cupboard is pretty good. I mean, we have our things organized here, my soap, my scented beads, my laundry stuff, paint for the house, 
and more party items up there. But again, like table placemats, like those don't really need to be just thrown up there. So <laughs> what I'm thinking is, is instead of having the pantry organizer on the back of my door, I might, depending on the measurement of the baskets, um, I might have one mount it right here so that if you're just, if the door is just open, right, and someone walks in, they're not seeing all of our stuff organized like on the wall, but I can come in here, have my scented beads, have my, you know, laundry sheets or whatever, maybe some folded towels. Maybe this can be where we store our towels because the other closet space could be then used for toy storage. Because our house is so small, we don't have a lot of room for storage. And I'm the type of person where it's just like, it's hard for me to give certain things away, especially if I envision like us having another kid and then needing that item or what if that baby likes this toy or whatever. I'm trying to get rid of some things, but you know, on rainy days like today, it's nice to be able to be like, let's get out another thing that they haven't seen in a while. So I'm trying my best to utilize the space that we already have. But right now, like there's areas where it's just not utilized the best. So that's where I think we're gonna put this thing, probably on the wall. Like I said, I have to see how the baskets measure. But the nice thing about mounting it on the wall is I don't have to have the entire thing assembled like all together. I can have half of it here, maybe the smaller baskets, and then the bigger baskets on a wall that isn't gonna be covered by the door. So we're still gonna play around with that, but I'm excited that we're gonna have some extra storage in here for like maybe opening up some of the cupboard space so that I can use that for like more of the clunky, bigger items. <laughs> Aubrey wanted to come in here and show you how she does her birds. So she does a little eyeball, cheap, cheap, but okay. then parrots have those curved beaks, so she does like this. <laughs> Do it again. Regular bird and parrot. <laughs> this is a baby parrot. Oh, a baby parrot, okay. So I'd like to thank Mayfert again for sponsoring this little segment. We are gonna revisit this product a few times, maybe in this video, but also in future videos when it's finally assembled and I finally have time to organize things on it. But for now, I think we're gonna get Jack out of his room soon and throw on a movie and just relax. I am gonna get started. I know it's only three o'clock, but I am gonna get started with dinner. Juan and I have a HelloFresh meal that we need to cook up. It's like on the last few days of it being good to, to use. Um, so gonna do that. And it, Juan doesn't care about reheating and I'm kind of hungry now. So once I get that finally cooked up, then it'll be dinner time and hopefully we can get to mounting this uh, today. If not, I will definitely give you guys like a little pan of what it looked like when we finally mounted it. So Aubrey's on her way to go get bubs and I'm gonna enjoy the quiet for the next couple seconds. Hey bubs, say hi. Car. Car. <laughs> Every time. Can you say hi? Did you have a good nap? Car. All right, well, your pediatrician wants you to say more than just one word, okay? Okay? Can you say van? <laughs> Thanks. Let's take it slow, where you go, I go to. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow, who cares where we gotta be? You know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me. Let's take it
ask me how we got here Cause you don't know how You say we're taking on water Yeah, we're sinking now You're looking all concerned Like we're gonna drown But we both know how to swim No worries, let's go for now Let's take it slow Where you go, I go too And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you Let's take it slow Who cares where we gotta be? You know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me Let's take it So Juan got home a while ago. I'm outside in the rain because I went to go get the eggs from the chickens today. Uh, we got a really nice, beautiful brown one today. Um, but when I was coming back in, I looked at the floor and I see so many worms in the crevices of our like um, cement, whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and scrape them up with a toothpick and collect them for the chickens. Usually whenever it rains, like when I come out at night, if it stopped raining, there's worms everywhere on our cement. And I'm always like, oh, like I wanna get them for the chickens. It's good protein, but I'm not gonna pick them up one by one. But right now I'm, I'm looking and there's like just chunks of tons of worms. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I put on another movie for the kids. I kind of feel bad. They've gotten a lot of screen time, especially when Jack was sick, but there's there's only so much I can do, uh, especially when I'm cooking. Like I don't want them to come near the stove, so I need their their attention to be like totally away from me, and that is like the best way to keep them away for a longer period of time. So we'll probably turn it off soon, but let's go ahead and pick up some worms. All right, kind of feels like I picked up or I'm touching like a brain. There are so many of these things. I know the brightness is totally weird, but just so you could see them a little bit better since it's so dark out. Oh my gosh, the chickens are gonna go crazy over this.
Good morning guys. Um, so I meant to continue filming last night. I actually started trying to and my camera died. And then we figured out my dishwasher isn't working. So I had to like take all the dishes out, hand wash them. Juan tried to fix the machine. He couldn't figure it out. Uh, he has like one more plan on fixing it today. And if not, like we're gonna have to get a new one or something. Uh, but it is the morning now. I took out my sourdough from the fridge and I'm about to score it and then put it in the oven. So I will show you guys kind of how that all turns out, but I'd like to thank you guys for watching my afternoon and morning <laughs> in the life. I know it wasn't quite 24 hours, but I hope you guys enjoyed joining along. Sorry, my voice is just like this right now in the morning. I have something very minor like going on but it's I'm over it after like an hour the other thing I wanted to mention was this the pantry organizer right so for video purposes I was like you know what let's let's show at least what it looks like on the pantry and I put some food in here and Juan's like I really like that <laughs> so I think we're gonna add the little sticky things to make sure that it like stays completely in place so you don't hear like the bang, bang, bang. Um, we're gonna add that, you know, when I completely make up my mind, we might just have to get another one for the for the laundry room because, you know, it's, it's such a great thing to organize. Like you could use one in the garage too. So anyways, it might end up actually just staying in our pantry and I'll, I'll think of a good purpose for it. Like those are like the go-to snacks for on the go or when we're at home, like the kids can grab that cause it's like right at their reach. So that's kind of what I'm, I'm looking at, but I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video by wrapping up my sourdough. So let's score this, bake it. And while I'm doing that, I just wanna say thank you so much again for watching this video today. I hope that it brings you some type of motivation or normalizes what it's like to be a mom on a rainy day. <laughs> if you guys liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I would love it if you stick around and subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.